Hello guys, today I'm going to be doing a video on MW2's campaign with the Steam Deck. We're going to be starting it off with 800p on the lowest settings. Okay, now we're starting it off in Amsterdam. I'm having a weird issue right now where the sound is cutting in and cutting out. Uh, voices will get louder and then quieter again. So it's a weird glitch. I don't know if it's with this level or with the game in general. I will be going back to the second level of the game as well, where there's more action and more shooting happening. So we can compare the two there and see if this is a one-off thing or if the game just bugged out and the audio is just having issues. Starting it off with 800p in low settings, we are able to hold an average of 50 FPS, which is quite nice. I'm hoping to get 60 FPS in this game. The campaign is more taxing than the multiplayer, so I'm not sure if it's going to happen or not, but we do have FSR. Hopefully we can get 60. Let's jump into the second level. Alright, I'm jumping into the second level of the game. Frame rate is about the same as what we had before, around 50 FPS. Game looks fantastic as well. And the one issue about playing on the lowest settings is the texture resolution. On the very low preset, it blurs things out here and there. It's not too noticeable on the Steam Deck, luckily. But on desktop, it's definitely an issue. But again, not too big of a deal on the Steam Deck. The small screen hides it quite well. We're jumping up to the 60s now, which is very... Very nice, it's a very good sign, but obviously it can't be a stable 60 since this is a very simple area and once you get into action packed scenes, you will fall down into the 50s and even the 40s at times as well. Now the overlay is a bit limited on Windows for the Steam Deck, we only get a couple of options so we can't really see what the GPU is doing, which is kind of unfortunate, but I'm going to go ahead and enable FSR. And we should see, hopefully, a decent jump in performance. Okay, now using the quality FSR, we're already seeing a decent improvement in FPS, sitting in the mid-50s now. Whereas before we were sitting in the 40s, and taking up the night vision, we are getting pretty close to 60. But we can't get there quite. Alright, now running down the hill. Basically getting 60 FPS at this point. The game is running quite well as well. Not getting any lag spikes or any stuttering, which is fantastic. Almost 70 FPS right now. But obviously it won't be stable. So, so far it's running a bit worse than the multiplayer, which is what I expected to be honest. There's a lot more happening in the campaign compared to the 6v6 modes in multiplayer. It's obviously not going to be as intensive as something like Warzone or Ground War. But it's definitely more intensive than your normal 6v6 game modes. Now, talking about the quality of the FSR, it's looking quite great still. Can't really see too much of a downgrade in quality. So you can go ahead and lower it even more if you like. Balance maybe, to get some extra FPS out of it. But I'll be doing that at medium settings. Now you gotta forgive me with my aim, because I am looking through the camera's preview when I'm playing, which adds like a second of input lag, and uh, everything is zoomed out, so... It's gonna be hard for me to spot enemies here. But still scoping in, we are dropping down into the 40s. The mid to high 40s, which is unfortunate, but the Steam Deck sweet spot is around 30 to 40 FPS anyway in newer games, so I'm not really surprised. I know in the beta for the multiplayer, we are able to hold 60 FPS in the lowest settings, so you shouldn't be worried about that. But in the campaign, I think a 40 FPS lock is probably the right thing to do. Maybe even 30 FPS, but that won't feel as good in first person shooters. Alright, that's gonna push it up to the medium settings and continue from there. Alright, now playing the game at medium settings, we are sitting in the low 40s now, instead of the mid to high 40s from low settings. So a couple of FPS lost from the low settings to medium settings, but it's not too bad still, since we are able to hold 40 FPS for now. And obviously we can use FSR again, like before, and gain it all back, so. I think medium settings is the sweet spot for this game. You can get away with playing at low settings as well, of course. It still does look pretty great, but I will just increase the texture resolution from very low settings to low settings. Um, to avoid having some blurry textures. Now indoors we're sitting in the high 40s, 250s, which is quite fantastic. Still not getting any stuttering or any lag spikes as well, which is a good sign. I have increased the VRAM limit for the Steam Deck. By default you only get 1 gig of VRAM dedicated to the GPU. And I've gone to the BIOS and increased it to 4 gigs. So I want to see if we actually are able to play the game on high settings now, because beforehand, during the beta, at high settings and above, the game will just crash after a couple of seconds of playing. So we'll see if that's affected it at all. It should. But yeah, we'll see then. Alright, let's go to enable FSR and see the FSR. Alright, now playing the game with balanced FSR. We're sitting in the low to high 50s now, which is pretty great. We were sitting at 40 to 45 FPS beforehand at native 800p. 
So we gained a pretty decent FPS jump, and I don't know if it's the night vision or what, but the game still does look very nice with the balance preset. Now, there was a weird issue happening in the scene before this when you were indoors. As soon as you go upstairs and you go past the balcony, you get some inconsistent frame times. The game felt a little bit off, but it wasn't that bad. But as soon as you jump from the balcony and land on the ground again, it goes away completely, which is definitely weird for sure. Now, we're getting a couple of stutters, which is unfortunate because it wasn't happening before. If this keeps happening, this will definitely ruin your experience, but so far, it's only happening here and there. And in this level, it's only happened a handful of times, so it's not too big of a deal for now, but we'll definitely keep an eye on it. Alright, now playing the game at high settings, we've got a massive FPS drop into the high 20s now and the low 30s from sitting in the 40s to 50s. And at this point, we're getting a lot of stuttering, way more common than before, and we're actually falling to the low 20s as well at times. That's crazy. Now, it's kind of cool that it's still running it because in the beta, it should have crashed at high settings, wouldn't even boot. So, they either optimize the game further from the beta or that the extra dedicated VRAM is definitely helping it and it's allowing us to run the game at high settings, whereas before, it couldn't. And as I mentioned before, we are sitting in the mid-20s now. All the smoke, all the enemies charging us. It's putting a lot of load onto the Steam Deck, and we're losing all our frames. And uh, yeah, it's pretty unplayable at this point. Hopefully, FSX can save us from this, but honestly, I don't think anyone wants to play at high settings anyway with the Steam Deck. Sweet Spot, again, is medium to low settings. For those newer titles, and for those older titles, you can definitely get away with high and extreme settings for sure. Alright, let's go ahead and enable FSR, and hopefully get our FPS back. Alright, now with FSR set to balance, we gained around a couple of FPS at worst and 10 FPS at best. Sitting in the low 30s to high 30s now, even the mid 40s at times, wow, that's crazy. Um, but the game still has stutter quite a bit, it's not smooth at all. Even though our FPS is doing quite well, the game is freezing here and there, so it's quite unplayable still. Would highly avoid playing at high settings. And the quality increase from medium to high isn't really worth it anyway, it's a slight bump. The game already looks fantastic on the smaller screen, so I don't really see a point in playing in high settings. Finally, it's going to push it up to the extreme settings, which is the max preset for this game. I don't know if it's going to run, to be honest. Might just straight up crash, but yes, we'll see. It's going to do it now. And here we are, extreme settings. I'm honestly shocked that it's actually running it and it hasn't crashed yet. But we're sitting in the low 20s now like before. Game is feeling awful, super laggy, super stuttery. And it's not very playable at all. 